we definitely grew up in the type of household where there's no occasion where eating wasn't going to somehow make life better. I think I fell in love with food without knowing I was in love with food. And I didn't start cooking until I actually left home and realized that the food wasn't good. <laughs> I went to cooking school in my mid-20s, and that's where I realized that this thing that I was passionate about as a hobby could be how I make money. And that was like a huge revelation for me. I definitely identified as an Italian-American from like very early on. It was just such a big part of our family culture and the food and the wine. Before my journey with Ancestry, for me, everything kind of falls off after my grandmother, Nanalia. What I'm hoping to learn and discover about our family is in that generation that decided to leave Italy and come to America. It would fill in a lot of blanks for me. The first thing that I think of when I look at these results is that I am 72% Italian, which is great news because I've been saying I'm Italian my entire life. But I didn't think of us as Roman ever. I've been to Rome like many times and I didn't, I didn't know how close we were. I'm looking on my mom's side of the family tree. So now I'm in the 1900 United States federal census and I'm seeing... So these are my great grandparents and his profession was shoemaker. Wow. Okay, new shoe shop in Palisade. <laughs> I don't think anyone has ever seen this. My new nephew is named Ramo. So the fact that my sister was able to name her son Ramo now gives context and new life to the other Ramo in our family. Here we have a transcription. Okay, never seen a birth record from Italy. Um, Ramo Cassini, 24th of July, 1878, civil record official in the town of Valletri, gave birth to a male infant who was presented and given the name Ramo. <laughs> he is the second born twin to the infant in the preceding act. His twin is Romolo Cassini. So we have Ramo and Romolo Cassini, born to Achille Cassini. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. A green grocer living in Velletri who was having twins at age 45, knowing that my great, great grandfather um, was a green grocer is like very touching to me. And I've always obviously like loved being at the farmer's market and loved eating seasonally and loved eating the food that was local to me. I don't believe my mom will have seen any of the, um, the records or, or that, or the notices in the newspaper. And um, I think that that's gonna be like amazing to see I'm, I'm going to give you dinner, I promise. <laughs> but before we get to dinner, I want to show you these things that Ancestry mm -hmm. helped me find. I'm very excited. So we are on your side. Okay. And when I did my, got my DNA results, mm -hmm. a big chunk of my DNA is from Velatry, July 1878. This is birth record for Ramo. Hmm. And his profession? What does it say? Shoemaker. Yeah, oh yeah, he was a shoemaker. So is this why you love shoes? <laughs> <laughs> I am a woman. <laughs> Achille Cassini. Did you know Ramos dad's no. name? Did you know this? No. That must be why we like this. <laughs> <laughs> And like all the other Italians. I mean, <laughs> there's Ramo and Amelia, parents to Leah, and now we have Achille and his wife Amalia and know where they lived. Because of everything that Ancestry helped me discover and 
learning about these people who were new to me. Right. I wanted <laughs> to make a new family recipe for us that Good. was like truly family recipe because of all of these roots and all of these things. Will you help me bang it out? I'd be yeah. thrilled. Lovely. To cook together. <laughs> Let's do it. So the recipe that I developed is a baked pasta using gemelli. Gemelli means twins in Italian, and the shape is actually like curled around itself, so it's like the intertwining of these two pieces. Once I learned that there was green grocer in the family history, it wasn't a big stretch for me to incorporate fresh vegetables into the dish that I started thinking about. There's fennel, there's mozzarella cheese, there's also parm and pecorino, and they show up in a lot of the classic Roman dishes. One of the great things that has come out of the past couple of years, which have been so hard in so many ways, is that we now have dinner together more than we ever have in the past. Family pasta. That looks so good. Yes. That looks Fabulous. Thank you. Did you make that all by yourself? Uh, actually, I had help. <laughs> that time is like been so special. It's the silver lining to a, a lot of clouds. I have a little surprise. Mom this has already quick. mom's already this seen this, but I don't think either of you guys have. And yeah. I'm gonna show it You're to you. You're really gonna like it for <laughs> our namesake, Ramo. <gasps> this is from a newspaper no way. clipping. Yes. I can I keep it? Yeah, of course. Oh God, we got to put it in Ramos. Put it in Ramos. We should do it again, and we should think about looking further into the family. Mm. All right, let's exactly do. Let's same. give the gift of ancestry to everyone who hasn't had it yet. Okay. Right. That'll close the circle. Of the Including family. you. Including me. That's yeah. my gift to you. So the fascinating thing about learning my family history has been bringing people who I never knew kind of to life. And if no one remembers you, then were you even here? <laughs> and that for me connects like their life experience and choices to the people who came after them and after them and then gives like so much sense to how I ended up where I did. I feel like I have a bigger family now.